remember the big, big picture. Right? Remember what's going on right now with the economy, with debt, with deficits, with all of that. Okay, No matter what, the Fed cannot really fight inflation. All we get is great news. We, the U.S. economy expanded at 5% during the third quarter. Really? Really? And think about this. They spent, they're spent, the government spent over $2 trillion more in the last 12 months than they brought in in the last, yeah, a $2 trillion deficit. Crisis era spending. Let's just, you know, and where does that money come from? There's only one place, guys. It's unicorn fart dust. I haven't used that word. I'm going to use it a lot today because that's all it is. So sure, temporarily, it'd be like you coming home to your, your husband or your wife or your spouse or whatever and saying, hey, everything's great. Let's go. We're going to go on vacation. We're going to have a great time because you just got a new credit card in the mail with a $10,000 credit card limit. And if you were like the United States government, you would already have 200000 in credit card debt, but you got another credit card, so you're going to go spend and everything's dandy. That's Bidenomics, right? Spend a bunch of money that you don't have and get minuscule supposed GDP growth and celebrate it. Remember the big, big picture. Remember what's going on right now with the economy, with debt, with deficits, with all of that, okay? No matter what, the Fed cannot really fight inflation. The only hope, the only life raft, the only way to keep the system, to perpetuate this current system is through inflating it away. So they're going to play all kinds of games. They're going to throw distractions at us. They're going to throw, but at the end of the day, there's only one thing that can happen, and that is the dollar becoming worth less. So if you're looking to buy gold, silver, or platinum, do yourself a favor and check out Pimbex, the online precious metals bullion dealer and sponsor of Ron's Basement. I was a happy customer before they offered to support the channel. You'll find they have the best prices, quality, and service. I think Pembex is best, and you will too. And be sure to tell them that you're from Ron's Basement. Let's talk about turkey. It's almost Thanksgiving. You want to talk about turkey? Do you like Thanksgiving? But let's talk about the country, turkey. Guys, in the last year, the price of gold in Turkey has gone up by 63%. I'm gonna, I wanna tell you, I'm gonna show you a chart in a second that will, will blow you away. And this, this, this is a precursor for what we could see, it's hard for us to believe, but even in the United States, if our currency goes into crisis, if everybody's talking about it, now the smartest people in the room, the Ray Dalios, the Jeffrey Gunlocks, the system that the, the, the level of spending is not sustainable. It's, you know, it's, it's, is it going to happen today? Probably not. Is it going to happen next week? Probably not. But it's happening a little bit today, a little bit next week. And then when it really happens, it's like, uh, was it Hemingway when they asked him, how did you go bankrupt? He said, very slowly. And then all of a sudden, that's what we're heading toward. I, I don't like it. You don't like it. It's not fun to talk about. But it's the reality of the situation that we find ourselves in right now. Let me read this to you from CNBC about Turkey. This is crazy, okay? The headline, the headline came from uh, Turkey, CNBC, Turkey's central bank hikes key interest rate. Are you ready for this? Do you know what interest rates are in Turkey right now? 35%, not 3.5, 35%. Here, key points. Turkey hiked its key interest rate from 30 to 35%. Um, the central bank said it would strengthen monetary tightening in a timely and gradual manner. I'd say they're not good going too gradual, wouldn't you? Until the inflation outlook improves. Um, uh, and, and until June, they had been like not hiking rates and inflation was out of control. So let me just read this to you real quick. Price rises were stronger than expected in the third quarter. So they've had runaway inflation in Turkey, basically. And now they got some Wall Street banker over there who's their head central banker who's going to fix it all by raising rates to 35 percent now here's where it gets interesting you own silver right 
You better. If you don't own silver, you better own some gold, right? You, maybe you own some precious metal mining stocks. Maybe, maybe. We'd like to thank our sponsor, First Mining Gold. They're a Canadian gold developer with two world-class projects in Canada. They also have a handful of other projects. When you total up all the gold in their resources, it comes to over 12 million ounces. They're worth checking out. I'll put a link to the company's website in the description below. But let's take a look. The last year alone in Turkey, the price of gold in lira, that's their, their, their uh, sovereign cu currency, has gone up by 62, 63%. Okay? Look at this chart of uh, the last 20 years, and this will show you, look at that chart. That will show you that's gold in Turkey over the last 20 years. Look at the last two or three years. Right. Unbelievable what has happened there. But that was the result of poor financial management by their government. Can that happen in the United States? Do you think it can happen? Back of our minds, we know the, the, the state of where we are, but most of us are kind of in denial. And I could, to a certain degree, include myself in that. Like, I don't think the zombie apocalypse is coming. Right? I don't think we're going to have people roaming around with, with weapons and, and all that. But we absolutely can't rule anything out. And I think the idea that a lot of people have is, well, we're the strongest country in the world. We're the biggest country in the world. We're the richest country in the world. I don't want to I don't want bad things to happen for you or for me but let's be real uh no big rich powerful country you can just do a quick review of history has lasted forever and the bigger they stand possibly I'm not saying that I think this is going to happen I'm possibly the harder it could fall sure the United States because of all the power and wealth that we do have can probably perpetuate the system longer than a place like Turkey no doubt about it but that doesn't mean that it can go on forever and aren't we seeing right now in the world aren't we seeing like massive changes guys we have war in the Middle East we have war in Europe right we're not going to go down that rabbit hole we've got half a world that is that is either has or is in process of aligning themselves and this is not look i'm an american i was born in america i was born here in st louis missouri right maybe like you i don't like this right i love what our founding fathers set up for us but we can't deny the fact right that this what's going on in the world there's a big movement of countries that are basically fed up in a nutshell would you would you say that's do you feel that when you look out there these BRICS countries the countries joining the BRICS the countries that want to join the countries that are joining the BRICS war right i mean europe middle east and now what what's going to happen in asia so things can happen very very quickly this is real Right? This, what's going on in the world right now is potentially very scary and something that we need to stay on top of. I give you friendship and valuable silver and gold videos every single day for the rest of my life. Please come back, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.